All right, so today we have um, we have Arvind uh, from Bangalore. Uh, Arvind is an engineering manager and uh, he has 18 plus years of experience. He's married, he has two kids, and Arvind is joining us to inspire you with the story of how he um, completely amped up his game of communication with presentation, with his leadership, and how he's living a much more confident life after coming to the Confidence Conference. So Arvind, before we get started, welcome to the call, and why don't you tell us uh, a little bit about yourself and whatever you want to say to introduce yourself. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Vishal. Uh, it's a big pleasure to meet you once again after the meeting that we had a month ago. So uh, this is Arvind here and uh, as Vishal uh, correctly introduced, uh, I am a software engineer currently leading or managing a team uh, of application engineers in a, one of the MNCs here in Bangalore. So uh, over the last 18 years, I have been doing software programming, testing and uh, the last four years has been into management. So yeah. as the career change, uh, I felt that there is a requirement for me to improve my skills, change the way in which I've been excelling in my career all around. Uh, so, people skills is something that I yeah. had to acquire. And I've been watching a lot of videos, uh, listening to a lot of podcasts and getting some tips. But uh, there was nothing in those podcasts which I could actually use in my life. Right. And uh, um, that's when I started seeing whether there are people who can uh, do a one-on-one -on -one coaching or uh, a mass training kind right. of event and yeah. uh, use was the only name that popped up yeah <laughs> so um, so a lot of lot of great reviews about uh, mr bishal sarkar all over the internet uh, so that's one main reason i thought okay fine i'll i'll dedicate uh, two days and uh, one thing is uh, I've, I've not been spending too much of time for myself and uh, i i have to do it um, right i, I have to break out of that that shell yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's the main intention of uh, me. And I think yeah, I have I have achieved what I wanted to do. Yeah, man, that's awesome. You know, it's interesting that you talk about that podcast and videos. And I often tell people, if you want to be a swimmer, you can't just watch videos of swimming. You have to get in the water to learn swimming. Right, like it has to be practical. And same thing with public speaking. One can watch a lot of videos, read books. I've written books on public speaking myself. However, the transformation comes from the practical experience um, which you've gone through. And I'm so proud of you, Arvind, to be honest, because of, of you taking the leap of faith for yourself to, to really take um, yourself to the next level. So let's go back to the moment before you yeah. joined the Confident Man Conference. Uh, when, when you came, you know, what were some of the problems or what were some of the specific improvement points that you wanted to make? before mm -hmm. coming to the conference like hey this is what i want so to talk to us take us back to this moment before you joined and tell us what was going through and what you wanted to achieve okay so before the conference um there were a few presentation opportunities that we had uh, in which as mr michelle might be teaching you the presentations would start like um, okay good morning everybody <laughs> i would like to introduce myself uh, this is Arvind. and the first two minutes would be a uh, complete waste absolutely right uh, so it, the audience would start looking at their mobile phones. Okay, fine, two minutes over. What is this guy going to say? Mm -hmm. So the energy, the connection with the audience is something that I really learned. I never thought that there was something missing here. Uh, the good morning was 99% of the people would start with a good morning or a good evening. Uh, great to see you here, which are complete time wasters. Yeah. I mean, I, I clearly understand how, how they were time wasters after coming to your workshop. Um, the other one is uh, impromptu speech. Uh, there are different techniques that uh, you have taught us. Uh, in tackling any subject that is thrown at you, right. so that was that was wonderful. Those are the two things that I learned. I took I, I take away from your teachings, and again beyond that, you were going towards a balanced life. It yeah. was it was uh, an eye opener. Mm -hmm. uh, this is something that uh, I've never evaluated myself with, uh, and uh, the results were mind boggling. So those awesome. are the main things. Yeah, two days. Yeah. It's it's a lot of learning. I should say. Absolutely. Um, do you think you also improved your confidence level, Arvind? Yes, yes. The amount of confidence that I have. Uh, see, the more you do something, the more confident you become. And two days was like, yes, it was complete on all hands. Uh, right. your, your, your hands on. You were complete into that. You were given opportunities to, the, to go to the stage, face mm -hmm. the audience, who were probably more senior than you. Yeah. So that was, that was a, a, a very good opportunity that we got. Yeah. One question we often get from people, I'm glad you brought this two day thing up because one question I often get from people is, hey, can I really learn this in two days? And my immediate answer always is, a two days, with, and I'm not speaking just about me, but in general, a two days with the right mentor is better than two years with the wrong mentor. Would you exactly. agree? Exactly. Sure. As I said, uh, there were lots of videos that I, I was watching, 
uh, there were lots of podcasts i was listening when i was on my way to the office but then there was nothing that uh, probably told you okay this is how you do it and all so that yes definitely it it really helped i mean the amount of um, uh, did i answer your question or you did. did i dive sure, okay sure. Yeah. And, and so I'm, definitely yeah i mean for the, for one year i was listening to those things but then there was nothing that i could put into my life and see the yeah. results but two days was yes okay awesome here's a question mm-hmm. um why did you arvin choose to enroll in our program instead of going somewhere else what was okay. it that you thought i need to get to the confident speaker conference i need to go to vishal not somebody else what, what was that that's when i started uh, um searching for uh, mentors in bangalore and uh, the first page i mean that's what i do normally i google and then find out who all are there in bangalore and uh, the first few results were from your website only and there were lots of reviews that i heard from a lot of people who who were uh, advan- i mean who, who got advantages uh, from getting to your course mm-hmm. uh, so that's when i said okay fine let me talk to someone from his team and uh, i think i started talking to rahul and uh, he 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 very promptly called me back and uh, understood what my problems were what my background was and then said okay fine uh, i think that there are lots of things that you will be able to learn out of this course um, so would you like to i mean he he gave an introduction of how the course is going to be there will be this much number of people in the room and uh, these people would also uh, be from a background who i mean uh, a few years of experience not like junior guys or something they are going to be senior managers vps subject matter experts exactly subject matter experts who have challenges only on this small thing but this small thing is actually blocking their Uh, career growth so uh, uh this uh, um, the, the team works as as excellent the amount of promptness that i see from your team is excellent so i i, I need not have look forward I, i didn't try anyone else so i i told myself yeah this is the person i'm going to go with are you happy you came to the program definitely definitely Great. that was two days which i would rate the best two days wow. i have spent on myself that's awesome the most enjoyable two days yeah a lot of learning a lot of learning. I, i appreciate that 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 makes me feel good not because it's hard event but because we put in a lot of work in behind the work to make it so that people do get the results at the end of the day um and i'm so happy about it so here's the thing Thank what you. what was yeah you're welcome what exactly um um did you like the most about the program um you know when you came to the event before that we had some group calls uh, and we did some accountability uh, as well for for all the people but when you came to the event the energy in the room the relationship the practical experience what was something that made you the happiest and you thought man this is what i wanted so what was that for you okay so uh, you keep on saying you need to have a lot of energy when you start speaking to others right. and that is something that i found from day one the starting minute when you when you you actually ran to the stage and greeted all of us right so from that moment in the end of the second day it was mm-hmm. high energy high voltage uh, presentations that i got and the opportunities that you were giving everyone uh, regardless of where they are from and mm-hmm. the way you were accommodating people from different walks of life that was amazing that was amazing awesome here's the million dollar question in imagine somebody is watching this video right now arvind mm-hmm. um, somebody who has been watching me uh, just like probably you have been watching some videos in the past yeah. and imagine they are thinking i i need to go to the confidence speaker conference but i'm not sure if that's the right step for me i know a lot of people i know hundreds and thousands of people have benefited from the program but i'm i'm not sure this that if for about next 30 seconds to 1 minute if you could speak to them um and if they came to you for advice should i go to bishal's program should i not you know i'm not sure if they are doubtful if they are skeptical uh, will this work for me will this not what message do you have for that person right now with okay so um i would split this question into two the first one would be do you have anything to improve definitely you would have unless and until you try learning something you will not know that you don't know that ignorance would be the first thing that you have i had it i did not know that there were lots of things that were missing for me until i came to this course the second part of the question would be is vishal the right person um, i say yes vishal is very effective and very effective and i have got much more than what i anticipated from coming to that course there were lots of podcasts as i told you earlier which told me these are the things ideal things that you can do perfection is what they were aiming at uh, but you completely think that it's not perfect and as you say as you keep on saying you don't work for perfection uh, you try to improve the connection you pro- pro- try to improve the connection with the audience and when i when i see very senior people do presentations i clearly understand what they are missing now so uh, these are the two things i would like to answer this your question that 
that's awesome here's the last question do you think the next two years as the result of coming to the program and the direction you're moving toward now do you think the next two years is going to be far better than the last two years for you yes if i if i make sure that i uh, i practice whatever i learned yes mm -hmm. definitely there will be a big change in my future is what i feel and i and i wish you all the best for that arvin so hey if you're watching this video and if you want to come to the confidence speaker conference like arvin says absolutely this is the right place for you if you have things to improve maybe uh, your situation is different maybe you want to overcome your stage fear maybe you want to be more confident maybe you want to improve your connection maybe you want to improve your body language maybe you want to improve the way you speak the way you connect the way you present or maybe you want to improve um, spontaneous speaking your your the words you speak or the natural flow of speaking without forgetting any points come to the confidence speaker conference we have limited spot and i'll see you there this is vishal sarkar always reminding you that confidence is not about perfection it's all about connection, connection. Yeah. <laughs>